Welcome to Getting to Know Colonel Jack on uh, Colonel Jack's Destination. Uh, this episode is episode one. It's about personal health issues uh, that I have. So uh, to start out, the, um, the main thing a lot of people notice uh, is when I talk, sometimes I say words all crazy and whatnot. Um, what happened was that I don't know uh, who was alive in 1986 that's watching this. Um, I was three years old at the time. I'm 32 now. Uh, the uh, day the Challenger disaster had happened, a very sad day. Uh, it was a personally sad day for me as well and my family uh, for two things. You know, obviously the country, the nation was d devastated and sat in by the explosion of the Challenger when the space shuttle took off on January 28th. 1986 uh, that same day I had suffered an injury it was um, I had suffered a brain injury uh, brain trauma you know I had a brain injury I uh, was in an accident the back of my head had been um, I had a, you know I'm gonna spare some of the details um, the I had a blunt trauma where I had smashed got smashed in the back of my head and from the force of what had happened, what hit my head, it drove me jaw first into the ground and shattered my jaw. I had to have my jaw wired shut. I had to learn how to eat, speak, and walk all over again at the age of three. Uh, I was going to be turning four so a few months later. Uh, so I had to eat through a straw for a couple of months. When I'm not sure how long it was. It was actually the first thing I remember was uh, was um, having my jaw shattered uh, and then waking up uh, for a moment, blood dripping down all over me and my mom holding me in the sink with a towel waiting for an ambulance. And then the next thing I know, I woke up in the hospital surrounded by my family uh, in a hospital bed and couldn't talk. Um, I was told not to move my jaw and to just, you know, try to like point to stuff and they'd say stuff and then I'd nod my head or whatever. Uh, so I had gone through that with, and then um, what transpired from that uh, brain injury, the trauma that I suffered, it, um, I have a severe form of dyslexia. It's called trauma dyslexia. It's when uh, you're a young adolescence or young child and you're still developing and you get a brain injury. Uh, it causes, it can cause uh, severe uh, trauma uh, dyslexia so I have that and I've been dealing with that since then um, you know so I was like three you know I was three going on four and I've been dealing with uh, severe dyslexia which is called trauma dyslexia TD not uh, VD TD not VD TD uh, trauma dyslexia I've been dealing with that so sometimes when I say something the first time I'm reading it and then I'm saying it out loud it comes out different than the way I visually am seeing it. It comes out different verbally. Like uh, when I covered uh, Invicta the other day, I was saying Invictica because I thought it was Invictica, and it's actually Invicta. So, um, you know, sometimes with people's names, I try sounding them out. I sound out the wrong letters, or I don't drop certain letters and went out so it sounds all crazy, or, you know, because it's... Uh, a name that's foreign, like a Spanish name or a Russian name or Portuguese name or something, I sound it out uh, all crazy and say it all wrong, you know, so that's that. That's why sometimes I say stuff all crazy and uh, it sounds pretty wild. The other thing, um, I have uh, a big scar, I don't know if you can turn the light, I don't know if you can see the scar right here on my hand, it starts from there. And then goes down here, so it's about there. I don't know how much of that you can actually see uh, from the lighting and whatnot. If you can't see, if you couldn't see the scar, let me know. I'll do another video, another episode where I uh, get more up close and show it in depth and uh, more. Uh, so, so I got nerve that happened when I was like nine years old. I've been nerve damage in my left hand for a long time. Uh, so, like when I go to close my hand. It, from the nerves, so what, how the nerves got hit, I, it's hard to close it with my thumb and then that, and then when I go to close it, it uh, cups like that, and I had physical therapy for a while, and it, it just ended up being the way it was. Um, and the other thing, um, 
my doctors want me to have surgery on my right arm because um, I have tendonitis in that arm and there's something going on with my wrist where it does that and sometimes I'll just like move it and it'll like do that and I get a lot of pressure and a lot of pain in that arm and whatnot you know I deal with it I've been dealing with it for years I've been dealing with it for like five years or something and I've been putting off surgery for a long time and they finally after about four years decided to give me a shot because nothing else was working and then they said if the shot didn't work they were kind of want to do surgery next so it looks like surgery is the next step um i have to see my doctor to decide on whether we're going to do the surgery or not and that's that so those are the three uh, main health issues that i'm dealing with at the moment um you know one's a lifelong thing another one is two and the other one's you know been a couple of years going on so that's me being honest and open about my health and um my um uh, mental well-being i guess you could say it's part of the mental the uh, um, neurology part of with the speaking and the brain is why I say things like I do. So it is what it is, you know, and there you have it. Subscribe to the destination to support the channel. Um, give the video a like for me being honest and why not. Leave me a comment if you want. If you're respectful and you're not being a jerk about things, I'll get back to you. I hope you enjoyed this edition of getting to know Colonel Jack, personal health issues, and there you have it.